Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap! God, did she crush it! Folks, what you're gonna see today is a meetup that the Legion did with the Fallen Outdoors. Now, if you're not familiar with the Fallen Outdoors, they are a veterans organization dedicated to getting current service members and veterans into the outdoors, just to have a great time for the therapeutic value it has, for the camaraderie and more. Now, I'll introduce you to several people who are part of the organization later in the video, as well as leave links in the description to their Facebook page. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. But before we kick things off, I want to send a big thank you out there to Big Bass USA, Lowland Outfitters, Real All-American Fishing Ventures, and everyone who came out to support us to help make this event happen, donated various items to all the different members we had come out here today. You really all helped make this happen. So thanks very much to everyone I just mentioned, all of our sponsors. And with that being said, we're going to do some brief intro video right here. And then we're going to get on the water so you can see the fishing action. Because man, those snakehead were chomping today. So thanks to the snakehead as well for helping us have a great day on the water. Let's get to it. <laughs> get it, buddy, get it! <laughs> uh, I'm going to watch you two, okay? I could have some good comedic value over here for the video. <laughs> now, chatterbaits are a great way to go, man. Great way to go. Right, first time we hooked into one and that thing just right yep, out of the water. Yep. Like, this you get, is awesome. You get that porpoise action. I love that stuff. Uh, Rich got a blow up on the buzz bait. Rich Lumpkin. Uh, he's out here somewhere on the left, I think. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> now folks, that's on the real all-American custom baits, curly tail frog. Ain't that right, Butch? Nice one too. He's got some battle scars on him. Now we're out here today, folks, with the Fallen Outdoors. That's a veterans organization dedicated to getting veterans into the outdoors which can be hugely therapeutic. Speaking as a veteran myself, it can be hugely therapeutic to get out here on the water, get into the outdoors. Oh, he is mad. <laughs> it's a nice fish too. Very nice fish. I don't know if it's as big as the one I broke off earlier, which is also on the real All-American custom bait. There she is. There you go. That's a solid fish right there. That is. That, that's, that's high 20s all day. I'm gonna measure her in a minute. That's a good fish. Oh, she's bigger than I thought. She's right at 20, just under 29, about 28 and three quarters. What do you think of that, folks? Now, a few of the guys out here haven't had snakehead yet, so we are gonna keep a few today. And there's no denying it, they're probably the best eating fish in fresh water. Thank you for your sacrifice here, buddy, because you're gonna go to help feed somebody, all right? And here again, real American custom bait. That's on a Gamagatsu four alt swim bait hook. Link in the description for all the gear. Uh, when you get that back in, I'll take a look at it. Oh, I know why. Okay, I got you. Here, let me hook you up with a different hook. That's the issue. When you're dealing with the kind of, I call them swim frogs, essentially. That's what you're doing. Yeah. So what you want to do with that is even if it's a small weight, like this one, because I don't like using heavy weights because you're fishing shallow water for snakehead. And if it's, if, if it's too heavy a swim bait hook, you're going to end up on the bottom snagged it's covered up in all that gunk and then they ain't gonna hit it anyway but they do have these ones that i'm about to give you right here where the weights are much smaller and that should keep it running true up and down now the other thing i'm going to do for you right here actually is give you one of butch's baits right here because i'm telling you these curly tail frogs right here these things are money absolute money so here right about through there the other thing about his frogs they have kind of a raised edges on either side of where the hook penetrates right. and that'll help with the weedless quality as well just to show you on that these hooks right here they have a corkscrew up top mm -hmm. you thread it on line it up for about where the hook should punch through so you have kind of a guide and just try to punch it right through the middle right. and that's the money dude thank you no problem dude 
So if you don't know who makes Real All American baits, that's this guy right here, Mr. Butch Huber, who also runs Real All American Fishing Ventures, LLC. So if you need a guide, here you go too. But here's one trick to it. Here's the curly tail frog I just caught that fish on. I broke one off earlier on the exact same lure. Another really nice fish. Take those tails and that spike it dip and glow. My theory is that, and the reason this kind of works, number one is just eye catching. So if it's eye catching, that always helps. But the other part about it is you'll see with bluegill sometimes or sunfish species, the tips of their tails will have a little flash of color on it. And I think that imitation, or that might be kind of an imitation that kind of keys that instinct within the snakehead to go ahead and crush that sucker. On the dangle. Come on, you rascal. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come get it for me, Dad. I can't get it. <laughs> what was that on? Uh, definitely a spark shed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. Come on, let's get you out of here. There you are. There you are. Pretty little dark rascal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, when it comes to topwater lures, I like the smaller versions. I have much more luck on. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See that, folks? Tyler got him. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's a good time. This is the first one. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very nicely done, man. I saw those fish flash, and I'm like, I'm gonna catch that fish. I come around the corner, he's like, oh, <laughs> There you are. As soon as I turn the camera off, man. As soon as I turn the camera off. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Come here, cutie. Come on. There she is. And that one's on the A-Core, folks. She crushed it. I turned the camera off just before she hit. Kills me. Oh. He's about to escape. I got my drive up. <laughs> you see where this log is laying in the water? Yep. The pocket or what I would call a pocket, see where all the, all the trees coming straight up? Mm -hmm. In between there, underneath of that bush. Like when you have these kind of overhanging areas like this, mm -hmm. those little pockets around timber, money spots, dude. So they're probably in pretty shallow water too. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, a couple I didn't, inches, they're sitting right on the edge. That's the thing with snakehead, because of their body profile and just the way they've evolved. I'll see them sitting in water sometimes, and I'm sure, you know, Damien and Butch can say the same. You'll see the dorsal fin sticking out of the water because because they're in such shallow water. Huh. Like they're a, they're a, they occupy a, a kind of a niche in the environment that historically that we haven't really had any species here stateside that do the same thing. Oh, they are chopping today. They are chopping. Ah. Whew. You gave me a drink. Come here, you rascal. There you are. Right where you're supposed to be though. Right at the crux of the base of that. That fallen tree with that top cover, those holly branches over top. Textbook. Oh, he's in, oh, I think he's still on, but he's hung up. Hung up bad. Oh, crap. I can't even get over there. He's probably off by now. He's probably off by now. Son of a gun. Nope, still got him. Still got him. I gotta retie after this one. Retie after this one. Jesus. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Get back here. Oh, did he get off? No, I still got him. Okay. <laughs> Damn. There you go. <laughs> Man. I just lost one back there the, the same way, back in that timber. Oh, you wrecked my frog, you jerk. <laughs> there he is. Whew. I got a cooler. I got a stringer. 
Now for a very careful handoff. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's such a beautiful color. Oh, bro. It's and you get so much variation in the in the coloration between fish. Right. Sometimes you get jet black. Sometimes you get a tan, and other times you get a nice contrast in a light colored skin with dark blotches. Right. It's good stuff. Pass her over. I'll get a little stringer for you. Sure. Yep. Holy crap. God, I wish I would have had my camera on for that. That was insane. That's a big one, too. He's high 20s. Oh, my God. Why couldn't I have the camera on for that? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, the old curly tail. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep, he threw the hook. I'll take it. There she is, folks. Beautiful specimen. She hit right next to the kayak on the curly tail, real all American frog. Shot, I mean, it was, she hit so close and shot at me that I closed my eyes. I thought, I thought she was coming at my face. <laughs> but it didn't have the darn camera on, but there she is. That's a nice one, dude. That's a solid fish. Nice. Gotcha. Another great eater sized fish. Boy, oh boy. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a jump. What an epic jump. Heck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, when I tell you these fish are chomping, I swear to goodness these fish are chomping. Whew. Oh, crap. There he goes. <laughs> oh, I feel awfully silly right now. Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap! God, did she crush it. Oh. oh my God. Nice fish. These fish are chewing. Oh my God, if I had time, I'm pretty sure I could have top three of the best days of my life fishing snakehead. There we go, frogs made out. Ooh. <laughs> and again, that was on. <laughs> Get off of there. That was on the acorn frog right here. Whoops, come here, paddle. Thank you, thank you. Go, bro, stop recording. Well, hey, folks, we just got off the water here. Like I said before, at the outset, we're out here today with the Fallen Outdoors. And I'm here with Mike, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what the Fallen Outdoors is and what I, all they do every day. All right, here you go. Hi, Mike Little, team lead for the Fallen Outdoors in Maryland. Uh, so basically we're an organization, nonprofit organization, uh, with our goal is to get current service members and veterans together so we can share in a common interest of the outdoors, whether it's hunting, fishing, camping, or if you just need to have a social event, just to vent and share in your story of your time in the service with others. Well, if someone's getting in contact with you, how's best to do that? Uh, we're on Facebook, so each region has their own region page. If you do a search for the Fallen Outdoors East Coast region, you should be able to find our, our page there. If you are, want to support us, but you're not a veteran or service member, uh, we do have a support page as well. Fantastic. So I'll leave a link in the description, folks, so you can find the Fallen Outdoors on there. And I just want to say thanks for joining me out here. It was a pleasure having you all out here. We're about, for having us. We're about to show you a group photo with everybody, with all the fish. So you'll see that in a moment. Let's go check out these fish and everybody else. So folks, that really wrapped up the day out here. I just want to say thanks again to everyone who came out, everyone who supported us, donated kayaks, everything that made this event happen. It was great to get on the water with everybody. Hope you all had a great time. And I hope you at home enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for more meetups coming up in 2022 with the Legion. 
and we hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.